Hello everyone, welcome to Nod University Short Lectures. My name is Azad Marden, I am the founder and the lead instructor at Nod University. In this short lecture, I want to explain the difference between put, patch and post. All of those three names are the names for HTTP methods. So the HTTP protocol, the hypertext transfer protocol, that's what powers the web and that's how browsers and other clients communicate with servers. So why there are three methods and all of them, every one of them could be used to either create a new record or to update a new record. So historically, it started with post. There were two, just two, pro, just two HTTP methods, get and post. And even right now, if you open your browser, those are the only two methods that would be created when you're just browsing the application without the usage of any AJAX or XHR requests without using the JavaScript. So when you're browsing, that's a GET request. And when you're submitting a web form, a traditional web form, that's a POST request. So POST traditionally, historically, that's for creating new records. But of course, back then, other methods didn't exist. So people start using POST also for updates. I remember I was uh, using PHP a lot. I was a PHP developer about 10 years ago. So when you updating, you would also send a post request, but then you would uh, put an extra hidden field. Let's say um, the name would be action and the value would be update. So this is how the on the server, I would know that this was the update request. It wasn't uh, create new requests. It wasn't the, the new record request. It was a request to update an existing record. So now, luckily, we have two more HTTP methods, but they add to the confusion. And most of the RESTful API servers, they implement them wrong. They use put instead of patch. So what is patch? Patch is for partial replacement. That is, this is your update. So when you need just update a part of an entity of the resource, let's say I have course entity or I have an account, it's a banking account. So I want to update just part of it. Let's say I'm updating my name on that banking account or I'm updating a course title, but all other information I want to keep there as is. In this case, you should use patch. But most of the people, most of the developers, they implement it wrong. They use put. Why they do it? Well, in the standard, in the specification, they don't specify exactly how you would use patch. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know exactly. We should ask those developers. So most of the APIs, they would use put. But what is put? According to the specification, put is the complete replacement. And it's a huge, huge, huge difference. Let's say, going back to that banking account example. So slash accounts, if it's a partial replace, let's say I'm sending in the payload, I'm sending just my name, first name and last name, as at Marta. So all other information would be saved. It's not going to be changed. But let's say it's a complete update. It's a complete replacement. In this case, all other information would be erased. I will lose all my balance. I would lose all my transactions, which is not good. It's a huge, huge difference between partial and a complete replace. But again, most developers, most APIs and most companies, they use put as patch. patch. So you need to look at the documentation. Most likely they are using put as a partial replace. So put, P-U-T, uh, that's most likely partial replace. Uh, partial replacement is not a complete replacement. So when I'm sending my first name and last name, all other information would be safe. Okay. So learn the uh, learn the protocols. Learn those standards. It's a W3C standard. Put patch and then the post. It's an older kind of an older. Most of the newer RESTful APIs they're not going to use post for the updates. 
but post it's for creation. And a little bit about status codes. So post should return according to the specifications 201. That's a status code. Each res response has a status code. So 201, it's a created new. But the update, update request, they, they can return 204 or 200 as well. 204 doesn't have a body. 200 can have a body. So 204 would be uh, the record has been modified. So that's it for this short lecture. You've learned the difference between put, patch, and post. And unlike a lot of other developers now, I hope you're going to use patch properly. Uh, instead of put, you will be using patch. And you're not going to use put for the partial replacement. You will be using put for the complete replacement. Thank you for listening. And I'll see you in the next episode of Node.js Short Lectures.